Hello and welcome to the cloud. If I ever had to paint my imagination while listening to Chillstep and playing Space Engineers, this is an exact representation of what it would look like. And while this may look like a bunch of chaos, in truth this is actually a proof of concept that I can actually set up a bunch of gravity generators and artificial masses on what would be drone based spaceships and then have them work in a cloud based system. Now, while this system here that you're seeing in front of you has no nucleus, as I kind of look at this in some way of an atom to actually kind of make some sort of direct representation of what in the world I'm looking at, this is actually kind of a cool thing because the physics involved in this is absolutely insane. I'm actually really impressed that the computer can handle it as well as it does. And how it works is that each gravity generator has both a pull and a push, and the push itself is actually higher than the pull, and it also operates in a lesser range. Now, I will get into the full details of how this stuff actually works because it's kind of finicky and there's a lot of stuff going on as far as the amount of mass and how everything actually moves around and what the limitations are but that's going to be in a whole other video that's going to be far more technical in this case it's actually kind of a proof of concept that you can actually create a drone based in a cloud formation kind of system going on here now in this image here i actually took this same sort of concept and put it around a nucleus based cloud system now to me what that is is basically you have a spaceship with no artificial masses on it and therefore none of the ships that are flying around it are actually impacting the actual source ship itself or the nucleus ship itself so while that it actually is kind of cool and fascinating in itself it what real purpose does it serve well the couple of things that i'm actually trying to develop here i'm trying to develop some pretty cool grav tech because i am trying to recreate this thing called the heavy mass cannon which is a cool weapon i saw in an anime that i recently watched on netflix called knights of sidonia and this is actually just a very large mass cannon now the problem with a very heavy mass cannon or any sort of kind of ballistic material that would be of heavy mass is the fact that they're really heavy and you gotta like haul a bunch of them around so you either have like one or two rounds on your spaceship or you have to find some way of actually moving that mass without actually physically having it impact your spaceship and that's where this grav tech comes in being able to create those different boundaries and kind of hold it there not to mention you could take the same sort of concept to armor plating or some sort of weaponized drone system and that could then be used with merge blocks that are then turned off and then suddenly your drone system becomes active it's a whole different kind of concept not to mention you can kind of take this same sort of mentality here and be able to create an external launch system to a carrier and rather than trying to create an internal space what you do is you create an external space that could then be like have all these ships rotating around it and all this kind of sort of stuff so i think it's a pretty cool proof of concept i just kind of wanted to throw it out there for you guys and just kind of share it with you and i will be also creating a second video of this where i'm actually showing the ship itself as it can actually move around and then the cloud is actually following behind it it's a very kind of technical and i <laughs> i think i need some more like graphic representations to show everybody kind of what's going on here and what the different limitations are because there's a lot of factors involved that I've kind of learned as I've kind of messed around with these cloud-based drone systems so I want to kind of show you that in the future but at any rate guys that's what I have for you right now and if you want to go ahead and look in the description below there should be a link to an actual download where you can kind of get in there and mess around with these objects you've seen here in the actual video itself at any rate, guys, that is all I have for you today, and I will see you in the next episode. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brathgar, out. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it works! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Todd, you're going wide. Woo! Nice! Oh, man. <laughs>